Yeah, I'll give you guys the goods today. You know, I've sort of been trying to keep it under wraps and it sort of is what it is. Because a lot of times, um, for the most part, I've been doing two, two different programs. One program, I've been catching them out deep in the mornings and just to secure a limit. Ooh, yeah, it wasn't a big one. That wasn't a big one. He didn't need it like a big one. Just to secure a limit, and then I've been going up shallow and throwing a, a plopping style bait up here, running around, um, and trying to cover as much water. Now, I've caught a, also a couple of them on a walking bait, um, caught a few different, but what's happening is this is the problem. Travis has so many bass in it that it's very difficult to separate yourself on a school of bass offshore consistently. And I knew in practice I had to figure something out to catch a better than the average fish. Now that's, that's a two pounder, you know? So, you know, I, I definitely had some schools and I definitely have caught uh, probably half of the fish that I've weighed in out deep, but this is a big butt too. I'm able to go shallow every single day and catch two, two and a half, three, and you know, even a, you know, a, every once in a while a big one, of, you know, a five, I caught a five pounder the first day doing this. And those are, the, those are the fish that late in the day, they actually start biting better. So if you notice that I've started to fish, I fish a little bit shallower today just because of the conditions. I started shallow a little bit more yesterday, but I'm mixing it up. And I've caught a few on docks too, but what I'm doing is I'm running these short pockets, I'm running points, I'm running basically anything that those fish will set up on. Now, a lot of these fish, not all of them, but the singles are the best ones. The single fish that are up there by themselves, but they're really difficult to trick. And, but the best thing is when you have a wolf pack. And what a wolf pack is, and you know, normally they'll wolf pack up on, on bluegill and, you know, and stuff like that, which I still think they are on bluegill beds, but there's not really, I mean, there's quite a few bluegill beds, but they're not really on those bluegill beds. I think these fish are just sort of up here. There's a lot of that undergrowth that's still up here on the bank and they're just chilling out. And you can't catch those fish by flipping. You know, a lot of guys I've seen flipping, uh, you know, flipping a lot of this brush this week and that hasn't been the deal because, you know, those fish are super smart. You gotta be, you stay way back, cast at the top water and then you can get those bigger bites. So, I mean, that's been the key for me. I don't know, you know, we continue to run new water every day and some of the water we do revisit, but like that place I caught the five, the big one this morning, that place I caught a five two the first day. I mean, literally, you know, and that's sort of crazy, but it is. It's pretty crazy that the big ones live like that. They live in the same little places. They like those places for a reason. I'd say that's a Yamaha taste of bait right from the horse's mouth. I don't think you can lay it out <laughs> any more uh, directly than that right there. Good stuff from Jacob Wheeler.